Making Parts with Fritzing, New Parts Editor. First we'll look at this simple way to modify parts before we get to the more complex ways of creating parts. There are two ways to enter New Parts Editor. You can right click on a part, Edit Part, New Parts Editor. Or you can edit parts in your circuit. Right click on the part, edit new parts edit. Let's take a closer look at the new parts editor. Across the top are the different views. First is breadboard, schematic, PCB view, icon, metadata and connectors. Let's go back to the PCB view and look at the connector pin allocation boxes. In the top box we have pin 0 and pin 1. Clicking on one of these will highlight the current allocation. The select graphic allows you to reassign connectors. As an example we will now move pin 0 to pin 1. Select pin 0, select the graphic, we will now want pin 0 to be this one. Now we'll look at pin allocation in schematic view. Again, selecting the pin will show the allocated pin. And again, select graphic will change the allocation of the pin. In this example, we will change the allocation of pin 0 to the second pin. We select pin 0, select graphic and click on the pin. But now we have an option of where the wire will connect to, west, north, south or east. We will pick east because it will be on the end of the pin. Next we will look at changing part drawings. Come up to file and you will find load image for view. Here we can select another vector SVG drawing of a part to be loaded into our part. As an example, we will pick one of these SVGs to import into our drawing. We will pick Capacitor SVG. Select it, open and now the drawing is changed. This is a common feature in all views. Going to the breadboard, again, File, Load Image for View. PCB, again, File, Load Image for View. Icon has a special feature where you can reuse the breadboard image as an icon. Looking further down, you can also reuse the schematic image or re reuse the PCB image. Further down, you can actually find the drawing of the part by pressing Show in Folder. As is highlighted here, this allows you to find a drawing quickly to modify. We will now skip to Connectors. Here, the number of connectors. As an example, you can put in four. and This will open up more boxes below. Again, there's a cross here to delete boxes. You can give them a name and a description. Let's now look at the metadata tab. We'll shrink this down to show you the influence it has in Fritzing. Here, the title is the title name of the part in the inspector. The author, the general description, the label will be the first letter of the part. The family, this will be in a family of resistors. Next we have the variant which discerns it from other resistors and here are properties. There's pin spacing, resistance, bands, layer, package, part number, power, tolerance and an option to add more properties. Down below there's tabs to help in searches. We will we'll have to come back to properties in more detail as it's quite technical, but you have to know how to save a part first. Going back to file, 
we select file and we can now save as a new part. Clicking on this we should give this one a new name as an example. Resistor 2. You'll find your part at the bottom of mine bin. I have given the part the title Resistor 2 as an example, but be more descriptive in your actual parts. Let's look at properties in more detail to see what influence it has in part making. Let's go to the core and grab a resistor. Now if we come down to the inspector, we have options here in drop down boxes. We can change this to a 600mm resistor. We can change it from THT to SMD. We can change the resistance. We have an empty part number so we can put whatever we like in there. Looking at the part, right click on the part and show part label. Here we see our 250R that we entered in the part number. Now, there is a difference between core parts and parts you make from core parts. If I now save this as a new part, this will not have all the features of the core part in properties anymore. They will be locked in. Let's look at mine now, back to resistor 2. You will see some of the boxes can't be selected anymore. They are locked in as one specific part. Let's look at the family properties. Every part made in this family of resistors will be able to be optioned from the drop down boxes here. The family is quite important for quick selections in an inspector. Let's go into more detail and look at the properties of core parts versus new saved parts. Let's search for a Xena and grab the core Xena. Here we have a breakdown voltage of 3.6 volts which is adjustable. Now we will right click on our core part, edit new part, file, save as new part, Xena 2, OK. Now looking at our new part, we will take it and place it on the board. You will see now the voltage is locked and we can't do anything about it now. It's not selectable and not adjustable. Now we'll go into edit part. Now in edit we can come down and actually change values. Here we'll change this to 5 volts, just as an example. Save it. Sometimes you have to do it twice for it to stick. Now the part that we made is now 5 volts. Again, non adjustable, but internally it can be adjusted. Let's go through a real life example of what you might do to create a part. As an example, let's make a diode with a wider pitch in PCB view. Okay, we will grab a diode from the core bin. We'll go to PCB view. Next, we'll find a part with a wider pitch. We'll say 600 mil. I have some in mine bin, so I'll pick one of them. This is a 600 millimeter rectifier diode. So we right click on that. Edit part, select PCB, file, show in folder. Here is the part drawing. Copy, paste to desktop. Now we close this, we go back to our original part and we edit it. 
you go to the PCB file load image from the desktop we now have the 600 mil dial check the connections anode there cathode there seems fine save it save it as a new part diode 600 then just change the other things to suit your new part whether you want to change the schematic breadboard and definitely change the metadata to make it different and save that and that's a created part it's recommended to edit parts with no other windows open only the single part window and mandatory is closing down the program after a part has been created to save it permanently here save the part